There's a little bonus. Got a pile of uh, tube holders and tubes to suit. There's one uh, three foot one in there too. So, yeah, so I'll process them, see how many ends are broken off. That one's, you know, they're cheap enough. You can get them for like 50 cents new. And yeah, pile of lights. Not that I need any more. Yeah, there's the other lights I got. They're a bit crappy. I think I gave the best the ones I had to add. So, nah, oh well. Oh, there's some more up there. Some exit lights and shit down there. Buddy mess, I've got to clean all this up today. Some hubcaps. This matching set of Mercedes hubcaps, lightly scratched. Now I've got to assess this unit. Probably end up at Aussie 50. Um, it's probably a burnt out laser as normal. But I did notice the cooling fan in the back of it's pretty dusted up, so it could have overheated. Uh, who knows? Who cares really? Oh, I've got this bloody box of globes to process. These are all my old ones from the back patio where I put all the uh, fluorescent globes in. And I got given this box of globes. Party lights and shit. I'll go through, see what works, what doesn't. Got these stupid looking things with bloody bits of silicon stuck to them. Yeah, see what works, what doesn't. What doesn't, I'll put in the microwave or something. Yeah, good fun. I also found this microwave. It works, the only thing wrong with it is just got a blown globe and it's just got to be dirt on the top. Um, and I pop some butter inside it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it works quite nicely. So, I might keep this. I might not destroy it. Not yet. Ah, I also found crappy little shit things or had it today. Today I've got to look at this unit, I don't think the compressor is running. I'm going to work out what that flashy light's for. Here yeah, once a month to do these ones. That's probably the worst I've seen so far. 
with that before you cover off. Now the filters have been cleaned. If not, anyway. The coils are pretty dirty. That one. Not the dirt has gotten through to that side. Mm. bit of work. Well that took me just under three hours. Um, everything came up beautiful. Works well. Uh, I'll be back there again in about a month or two. Sure. Just going backwards. Yeah. Oh. Oh, just over here I got this today. If you see that, that's one of my old pump packs I use the water in for coil cleaning. This one here is from Total Line. It's a proper coil cleaner pump pack. So you can put coil, coil cleaner in there and it doesn't eat out any fittings like it would on one of these. So I've got it pretty cheap. Um, I'll test it out. If I like it, I'll go get a few more. And they've got one of those foam replicators there too. I'll go and get. That made me happy. Yes, yeah, I use and recommend this product for most coil cleaning. The condenser cleaner version is also good, but only for condensers. This stuff is excellent. Sticks like shit to a blanket and you can find any leak with it. That's great. It's only about 14 bucks a bottle. Trade. And this I recommend if you have a smelly aircon that a smoke has been, you know, around or something like that. Works wonders. A couple of little sprays and there you go. Got a nice new smelling aircon. Hmm. Good fun. Yes, this is stuff I recommend if the, uh, units are a bit nasty but condensers only unless it's like an old-fashioned evaporator but yeah read the instructions if you get this